The news alert stolen and fraudulent checks are becoming too common. That's according to local police and banks dealing with these issues. Our Taylor Farmer has more on what you should be on the lookout for. Police tell me check fraud is rampant right now. They say it's happening all across the country and here at home. We've seen a, dra a dramatic change in uh, the number of cases that uh, are coming through. We can't keep up even, but we work day and night. Lieutenant Tom Aiken with the Traveler's Rest Police Department says they're seeing several variations of check fraud. Stealing mail and selling it on the black market is just one tactic. Police say it's happening far too often. The other check was point A to point B in North Carolina. That was a $38,000 business check. The one in Colorado was a $50,000 business check. Both were attempted the same time at branches of Bank of Traveler's Rest. Victims' pockets aren't the only ones that end up hurting because of this fraud. We do lose money and, um, you know, it's a huge impact on us, um, not only from uh, the business uh, standpoint, but also from a practice standpoint. Washing and altering checks is one scheme police and banks say they're seeing, but deputies tell me they currently have active warrants out in multiple states for people printing fake checks with the same routing and account number as local businesses. The scammers then find vulnerable individuals who will go cash them out. Do not give them any personal information, do not give them any banking information, and certainly do not give them money. I mean, we're talking people that have lost tens of thousands of dollars on these scams locally. Banks, including Bank of Travelers Rest, tell us their policies are changing. If they ask too many questions, it's just to keep your account safe from fraudulent activity. We're trying to look at, at these cases and caution not only our customers, but also our employees. We're, we're encouraging them to ask questions of our customers. We're not trying to be nosy. We're not trying to pry on their business. But because we do this every day, we're seeing these things come across and we're trying to help our customers. Local banks tell me to keep from becoming a victim. You should check your account daily. Take checks straight to the post office. Don't put them in your mailbox. And if you have concerns, call the bank directly. In Traveler's Rest, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. Great advice there. If you do believe you are a victim of check fraud, you can file a report with your bank or local police.